Have you ever wanted to compare the average teacher's salary in your school district to that of another Tennessee district? Do you ever wonder how many students your district serves and how that number compares to other districts in the state? Are you curious about how much money Tennessee allocates for each school district and where that money comes from? The answers to those questions can be found in data collected by the state, but it can be time-consuming to figure out where to find the data and then sift through it all. Thanks to a new tool created by the Tennessee Comptroller's Office, your search for the answers to those questions and more has never been easier. The Tennessee Comptroller's Office of Research and Education Accountability, or OREA, has created a new interactive dashboard displaying key data about K-12 education. OREA's K-12 dashboard includes data on student demographics, salaries and personnel, and state and local revenues for education. To use the dashboard, select a school district from the drop-down menu in the upper left corner of the screen. This information will update for the selected district across all three tabs of the dashboard. You can toggle between the tabs by clicking the arrows at the bottom of the dashboard screen. Select statewide from the drop-down menu to view state-level data, which we will use as an illustration throughout this video. The first tab highlights the average daily membership, or ADM, by year for the entire district or state from 2013 through 2020. The ADM represents how many students are enrolled in school and is commonly used for per pupil funding calculations. In the top right box, each district's ADM is broken down by demographic and special population category. The dark blue line represents students who are economically disadvantaged. The light blue line represents students with disabilities. And the red line is for students with limited English proficiency. Definitions for each term can be found in the box at the top left. In the bottom left box, the district's total ADM is plotted on a line graph. You can see how a district's ADM has risen or fallen for each year from 2013 through 2020. The bottom right box shows a breakdown of the ADM by student demographics. Each bar shows the percentage of students who are African American, Asian, Hawaiian, or Pacific Islander, Hispanic, Native American, or white. Hover over each section of a bar to see the total number of students per category for that year. The second tab of the dashboard contains data about each district's salaries and personnel. The top left box defines four position types along with the statewide average salary for each, licensed educators, instructional personnel, classroom teachers, and principals. The top right box contains the average salary for each type of position in the district. The orange line shows the average salary for classroom teachers, the light blue line for instructional personnel, the red line for licensed educators, and the dark blue line for principals. The line graph shows the average for each school year from 2013 through 2020. The bar graph in the bottom left box represents the number of licensed personnel employed by the district each year. Hover over each bar to see a pie chart breaking down the number of licensed personnel by position type. In the box on the bottom right, hover over each year of the graph to see the percent change in average salary by position type from one year to the next from 2014 through 2020. Each line highlights the percent change for each of the four types of positions. Finally, the third tab of the dashboard displays state and local revenues for each district. In the top left box, a bar chart shows the amount of state funding the district received each year from 2013 through 2020. Hover over each bar to see a pie chart with the percentage breakdown of state funding sources, including the Basic Education Program, or BEP. The BEP is the funding formula for Tennessee's K-12 public schools. In the box at the top right, the district's annual dollar amount of BEP funding is plotted on a line graph to highlight any changes in funding. The box at the bottom left of the tab contains a bar chart in which each district's local revenue is broken down by source and by year. Local funding sources include total local option taxes, property taxes, city general fund appropriations, and more. The box at the bottom right displays a line graph plotting the total local revenue received by the district each year. The data used in OREA's K-12 dashboard comes from the annual statistical report published annually by the Tennessee Department of Education. For more information on OREA's K-12 dashboard and other topics, please visit the OREA website.